I just wanted to quickly show you how to create a mock-up image in ChatGPT and then export it, put it into Canva and turn it into a mock-up template that you can use over and over again for your designs. So the first thing that you need to do is enter in a prompt. So for this one, I have create a flat lay of a blank five by seven white invitation card placed on a light wood surface. The card should be centered and perfectly straight with soft, even lighting and minimal shadows. Surround it with neutral toned props like dried florals, beige linen, and a gold or taupe pen to create a calm, warm, and earthy aesthetic. The overall look should be clean and mock-up ready, ideal for overlaying digital product designs in Canva. Now I'm gonna hit go and see what it comes up with. Okay, so this is what has been generated. Now it's nice and neutral, so you could use that for any type of invitation. I'm just gonna hit download here and then I'm gonna jump across to Canva. Okay, so we're now in Canva and I've opened up a 2000 by 2000 pixel design and all you need to do is upload your design. So I have it there and there we go. It is now in as our background there. Now what I want you to do is go to apps on the left hand side and in the top you'd need to type in mockups and look for the one that looks like this. Click on that. Now to get it to work, we need to click on the image. So it's got all the dots around the outside. And then we need to select this create a mockup template up the top. You do need to have a Canva Pro account for this. So if we hit that there, it will generate a mockup template and then we can just drag our designs into that. Okay, so as you can see up here, you can see that one worked okay. It does, in some instances, try to do the mock-up for things like the blanket or the pen. As you can see there, it's done. So we select the one that looks the best and is what we're after. So that's this one. We're going to hit confirm. And then it's going to drop it in over here on the right hand side. OK, so as you can see, it has now put that in as a mock-up, like as a template there. So if we now went back to our uploads folder. Okay, and I just did a quick search for an old design. I just wanted to find an invitation. So I'm just gonna drag one in. And you can see here that it's populated that in there. So the design is dragged in. It looks like a mock-up that you would buy. So what you need to do is you need to double click on it and that mock-up app will open again. And then you'll be able to detach the image and put a new one in. So you can see up here on the left hand side, it's got the image and you can actually adjust it in that space as well. So you can move it around. And you can also detach the image. So once you detach your image, it's back to being like this template again. And then you can go back to your uploads and you can drag in your next image and then save it. So that's how the template actually works. Now, when it comes to the chat GPT side, it all comes down to your prompt. So you have to be very, very specific with your prompt and you have to make sure that you put in words like minimal shadows because the shadows actually seem to play havoc when it comes to turning it into the mock-up template in Canva. So you really need to concentrate on getting really good instructions here. And if you were using like a, you wanted to mock up an A4 page, for instance, you would have to put in the size in here. You'd have to be very specific. You'd have to say it needs to be straight so that it ends up being perfectly aligned. Otherwise, when it turns into a mock up, it can be a bit off and your design looks crooked and it's a bit strange. So they're just a couple of things to pay attention to. But other than that, if you play around with it, it ends up coming out quite good. I'm going to put together another video and show you some other mock-ups as well. And I'm also going to do a little prompt guide for you so that you can download that as well. And that will help you to get started with some of these mock-ups. So I hope that you found this one interesting and I will do a follow-up video for this one soon. And I will include a little booklet for you so that you can grab the prompts and go and explore and uh, create your own mock-ups and see how you go. Have a great day.